you believe I'm doing another video? Uh, two shaves, two videos. I haven't, I haven't sh shaved since the last video. So, but I, I got something today. I'm sorry. I'm kind of blanking out. Don't do videos that often. Hang on. So I got a mail call, and I hadn't got a shave-related mail call in a long time. And uh, this one is from Shave Bowl. Probably really big there. Come this cool box. So uh, it was hard to deny that I got something in the mail from about shaving. I've done opened it, but I've got the Traveler. The Shave Bowl, if you've ever seen it on Instagram, looks like this. So it's got a place for your brush and your razor, and it's big enough. You know, it's this, it's this size. This is the Traveler. So, a little bit smaller. And uh, it says soap on the inside. Y'all can see that. And it's, it's got a micro texture. That's what's so cool about this. Um, it's not, it's not ceramic, it's plastic. It's kind of a ceramic plastic, I don't know. But it kind of uh, has a little bit of grip to it. That's what's going to be fun about bowl leather. Uh, so, test something out today. Uh, I'm going to be using Chisel Faced Ghost Town Barber. Chisel Faced is one of my favorites because it, it's a tallow, but it has aloe in it and then mango butter. Uh, mango butter is like shea butter souped up. You know, on steroids, it is. Uh, it's good stuff. My skin likes it. My skin loves aloe, and uh, let's see. It's got uh, avocado oil, uh, sodium lactate, uh, skin powder, uh, tallowate, potassium cocate, potassium stearate, uh, aqua, glycerin, fragrance, uh, and those were not in the order that that they are in it's kind of a softer this is ghost town uh barber and it kind of smells leathery to me um uh, but with a barber scent it's a different take on a barber shop i like it i also got i believe i got that for christmas one year for my wife and she got me the aftershave really like his aftershaves i have the sherlock and other stuff and then I'm going to be using the Gillette Senator. Look at there. I got Corey to thank. I'm going to be using uh, Permasharp. I haven't used this razor in a while. I'm like it matches up good. That's the gap. Y'all wondering? And I'm gonna be using my shilling. The Groom Room Shave Mac number 33. Notice somebody else got one of these. <laughs> number 19, I believe. Congrats. A shilling. If it'll zoom in, I don't guess it will. Mm, smells good. How y'all been this week? I've been busy. Busy, busy, busy. Working overtime every day. I actually uh, did another video before I shower tonight about how I clean my mustache. I'm going to kind of pepper them in. Uh, maybe do some reviews. I have some, uh, somebody actually that's a wax maker send me some uh, to review. I got several, a bunch, <laughs> too many, but I figure I'll just kind of talk about them and uh, mainly show how I style. Uh, I think the mustache is a lot like shaving. Everybody's is different. Man, oh man, look at that. That's bootymous, bootymous. I don't think that's a word. I don't think I should ever say it again, neither. But. 
been hot here and humid. Hot and humid. All right, let's give this old bowl a try. I couldn't tell you the last time I bowl lathered. <laughs> I bowl out of here every once in a while. I like the size. So I got a spoon somewhere. <laughs> I've always kept this one fourth teaspoon. And um, when I first started it, you know, I kind of kept up with how much. how much water you put in. But when I started out, I was using a mug. So I put the soap down in the mug and then build on top of the uh, soap. And I've always done that. So when I, so when I build leather, I turn the bowl and kind of just build on top of it. That's why you hear me slapping the sides. brushes ate most of it <laughs> this is a good little brush let me tell you I really thoroughly enjoyed this brush it's got a good tall side I don't like a real, real big bowl, but is it? It's nice. I like the old school look of it. Yeah, I really like that brush. I mean, that uh, bowl. It's really light. And it didn't, uh, if you notice, my brush didn't clink on the sides. I have a bad habit of that. This, uh, it's a lot of tallow soaps. My nose actually picks up on the tallow, especially the older the soap is. Um, I can just smell tallow and zit. But there's a few soaps, tallow based soaps, that uh, disguise their tallow in it just enough. You know, it's not overbearing. And uh, I think they use tallow just enough to get the slickness out of it. And this is one of them. Uh, Phoenix and Bow is another one. WSP is another one. But like cello, I, I actually just gave my cello away. That's all I can smell is the tallow. Uh, there's a few other ones that, uh, that's all I smell.
This, uh, this razor shave is so much different than the Wolfman. It's a medium. Probably medium aggressive. Touch up passes. I've been using the uh, Wolfman so much, I kind of know how to shave with it to get a lot better shave. Out of one pass. You know, the angle and everything. It's good hearing from everybody. I got a lot of comments on my last video. My It's Been a While video. And it has. Let me wash up. I got several little little bowls. I know some guys on Instagram would collect the old shave mugs and stuff. Those are so neat. I love them. So y'all have to tell me what's new. Uh, it's out. I'm, I literally have not uh, this whole time. I stayed away from Instagram and everything else as far as shaving goes. Um, it has helped the pocketbook. <laughs> I've been seeing uh, somebody use 11. I'm not sure what that is. A little spray bottle. Such a great scent. Actually smelling this, a little bit of a bergamot or something. A little citrus. Along with the menthol. I'm not sure what the ingredients of his aftershave is, but I do smell like a little sweet with a perfume, a little powdery scent. I like it. My favorite uh, aftershave of his is uh, the Sherlock Holmes. I love that. Let me blow dry this real quick. I'll be right back. Another shave down. <laughs> uh, need to. I guess I'll start thinking about uh, the uh, the live shaves. I know a lot of people. Mentioned that they would like to see them come back. Um, but yeah, maybe we can do a live shave pretty soon, a couple of weeks. But we got 4th of July coming up. Uh, I'll try to do a shave before then. And I uh, hope y'all having a great week. Tomorrow's Friday, and uh, the weekend's up on us. Yeah, I'm Cap. I'm out.